The minority in parliament says it will push for the prosecution of the Ghana Trade Fair Company chief executive over the demolition of some structures at the centre. Minority members on the Trade, Industry and Tourism Committee of Parliament further served notice to Hall Trade and Industry Minister before the House to answer questions on the exercise. Here's a report by Komla Kluche. The rubble of the demolished structures. 68-year-old Yemo is a victim. Trade fair is for you. Yes. You give us because we apply and you and give you us legally a, acquired the acquired place. the place. We have been paying uh, rent. Thing. Not quite three weeks. They came for a rent La land this thing. Mm -hmm. So we know if you want to uh, do demolition, you have to give us even if 24 hours you give us, we will start packing our things. An emergency visitation by the minority side of the trade industry and tourism committee threw the MPs into a state of shock. Can you imagine? Oh Lord! Somebody's investment. You are there granting. Companies, foreign tax, companies with tax, taxes. Tax exemptions. Tax exemptions. Ghanian and Ghanaian businesses have been collapsed. No. This demolished structure has made waves because it belonged to investigative journalist Raymond Archer. I'm here myself and I've seen, I think it's more than $10 million mm -hmm. of investment. Yeah. You mean Roman, uh, uh, Raymond Archer? Yes. Sure. Look, and you know, don't let anybody tell you. I'm telling you because I'm here that oh the machines were not destroyed you have to be out of your mind to say that look at the control panel there's the control panel that hold here is completely on the ground everything here is destroyed and i think that we are not going to end this matter we are immediately going to invite the minister of trade and industry to come to parliament to explain and answer questions on why this was done and then we will follow up from there the minority side of the committee says the issues are begging for answers. Having seen, I believe, that the people who carried out this level of destruction had no soul. They were wicked. There's no pure humanity in them. You can't destroy somebody's property with this level of carelessness, with this level of impunity. And that's why the minority is here. We do not want to talk in vacuum. We wanted to come see and talk to the issues. Beyond answers, they indicate they will press further charges. Those officers who supervise this demolition, if government is taken to court, and if judgment debt is paid, it won't just be paid, but those who would have supervised this wrongdoing, this impunity, should pay for it.